Good morning. It's Monday, April 10th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Cornerstone, and our scripture is Psalm 118. The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful to see. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. When something good happens, we tend to bask in the good feelings it brings. When something really good happens, life-changing good, we walk around in something of a blessed shock for a while. And when a dead man gets out of the tomb, walks around, and we see the nail prints and scars where the thorns and whips pierce his flesh on the back and brow, and he's now smiling and eating a fish breakfast with us by the seashore, our lives will never be the same. The psalmist was writing about one of those moments. Looking down the corridors of time, he saw God's Messiah coming to rule and being rejected. The builders, religious leaders, priests, all the movers and shakers in Jerusalem, turning a blind eye to God. What they didn't imagine was their decision being reversed by a higher court. This is where Luke picked up the story following the resurrection in Acts chapter 4. For Jesus is the one referred to in the scriptures where it says, The stone that you builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. A cornerstone is the most important part of constructing a building. As the first block, it sets the direction for whatever follows. If the cornerstone is not level and square, the building will eventually crumble, no matter what praise it gets from cultural standards or changing opinions. God's Son, Jesus, was and is the cornerstone of salvation and all that's holy. He is also the Lord, heaven's glory and coming King of the universe. All that breathes will be under his rule. And according to Apostle Peter, those who in stubborn pride reject him still will find themselves without a corner to hold to as the cornerstone becomes a stumbling stone. 1 Peter chapter 2 As the scriptures say, I am placing a cornerstone in Jerusalem, chosen for great honor. And anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. Yes, you who trust him recognize the honor God has given him. But for those who reject him, the stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. And he is the stone that makes people stumble, the rock that makes them fall. For those who accept Christ, there's nothing but good news. To be part of his forever family means we're in a household that will stand straight forever, righteous and blessed in communion with the Heavenly Father. Paul wrote this in Ephesians chapter 2. Together we are his house, built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, and the cornerstone is Christ Jesus himself. For you today... I've never built anything that was totally level or plumb. There's always a crooked angle here or leaning over there. I'm so thankful God gave me a chance to accept Christ's offer of salvation, built on the sure and square cornerstone of His loving gift of blood on Calvary's cross. That blood will never lose its power. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.